We raise great Pyrenees guard dogs and we sell them all over the country. And today they're in the house because we're doing a little maintenance. We're cutting their toenails and we're brushing them a little bit and just checking their overbite, if they have an overbite or an underbite, looking out at their teeth. These puppies are four weeks old and they'll weigh between seven and nine pounds a piece. Yeah. They haven't been in here before, so the whole thing is brand new and kind of scary. I have a little wire brush and I have a waterless shampoo thing that I brush them with and it makes them smell nice. These guys live outside in the barn and right now in Minnesota it's anywhere from 20 to 10 below zero. The cold weather doesn't bother them at all. There are eight puppies in this litter and they all pile on and stay toasty warm. Their mother was Josie, is Josie, and their dad is Asher. There are pictures of both those parents up on our website. Here we go. I'm going to set you down and get one of your brothers up here. The males are about a third again bigger than the females. This is one of the big boys. In this litter we had four males and four female pups. He has badger markings. That means that there are markings around his face. Whoa! And ears. Right here and here. Like this one's got a cute, see, white ear and a black ear. Sometimes they'll have a spot or two on the rump and the tail area. We also have snow white puppies. It just depends on what you like the best when you get your puppies. Hold still. Hold still. We're looking for personalities to develop in the next couple of weeks. They're still a little young and this whole expedition into the house is a little frightening for them. They haven't been in here before. On the personalities, I'm often asked, how can you tell what's going to make the best pet or the best guardian? Oh, 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 okay, okay. You can't tell much at four weeks. By the time they're six weeks old, I can tell a whole lot. The ones, the dogs that'll make the best guardians are those that when I go out to the barn kennel, they'll sit over in a corner and watch me. Now, they're not afraid of me. They're not hiding or cowering, but they're the watchers. And those puppies will make the best guardians because that's what you want. You want a pup that's very alert, very aware of what's going on, and not so eager to gallop out and see the people. The pups that will make the best family dogs are those that when I go out to the barn, they gallop out, they pounce on my shoes, they'll attack my shoestrings, they'll jump on my legs. They're all very glad to see me. These babies at four weeks are learning to wag their tails. The family pets will be the waggers. They're just happy, uh, very outgoing, very gregarious, and eager to be with the people. It's a difference in personality totally. In the last couple of years, we've sold several puppies at, to be trained as therapy dogs for parents who have autistic children. There you look for a different kind of personality. You want that gregarious, outgoing little dog, puppy, but you also one that is extremely, extremely gentle. These dogs will get huge, and you want to make sure they're not going to jump or to knock somebody over. They seem to have a sense that they know if a child or even a senior citizen, a grown-up, is a little bit more fragile. Don't you? Huh? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. This pup has the spots. He has a ring tail and a spot here. And as these puppies get older, those markings will fade. He'll have a little bit of black color around his ears yet and maybe a little bit around his eyes. But most of the time, they're guard hairs that grow out over this face. And while it looks dark now with the markings, as he gets older, they'll fade and he'll look like a big white dog. Yeah. Yeah. This big boy, he hasn't missed any meals. They all have these big tummies on them. Yeah. They're still with their mother. 
and she's doing the primarily the most feeding on them. But I've started making kind of a puppy gruel that we take out twice a day. It's in a big pan, and we mix some milk and some puppy chow and a raw egg or two, and mix them up. Put the pans down, and the pups, when they you first introduce it, they have a real keen sense of smell. So they smell it, they sniff it, and then they get in it. They wear it. It gets all in their fur. They make a mess, but some of it does get in them. And this guy doesn't look like he's missed too many puppy meals. Now this is fun. This makes all the work and all the hassle doing puppies worthwhile when you can sit on the floor and have a lap full of Pyrenees puppies. Yes. Yeah. They were fussing and crying about being in the house a minute ago. Now they're happy. They'll sit here because they like the warmth of everybody piled on. Yeah, they do. They do. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing cuter than a pure puppy. Some of these babies, one of them's going to go to Washington State where it's going to be a guardian on a big ranch up in the mountains. Another puppy is going to go to Pennsylvania. Another one's going to north, northern Minnesota. There's a homeschool family with six children, and they have some animals. So these puppies have already been sold. However, we have litter year-round. And for information, you can check out our website. It's milkandhoneyfarm.com. Thank you.